hello today in this video i am going to talk about the source conversion that is for the voltage source and the current source and how this voltage source is going to be converted to the current source and same thing for the current source is converted to this voltage source so i am going to talk about these conversions so at first let's assume we have the practical voltage source So for the practical voltage source, we are going to have this positive negative polarity, which is having the internal resistance as Rs and the current passing through this. Let's assume it is I subscript S, and we have the terminal right here that is going to be AB. So this is actually the practical voltage source and the current only going to flow when this is there is some kind of network or whether it is short circuit but for the open circuit this is is going to be equals to zero so this is for the practical voltage source and we can actually provide this practical voltage source to set a network or certain resistance it can be a load resistance something like that and this is going to be network some network so we have connected this to set a network and we can actually write we can also write this as a voltage source let this be vs and internal resistance is rs and the current passing through this through this raised water source is is and right here now let us provide certain load resistance that is rl so instead of network it can be any type of containing a passive elements so i have provided this load resistance now so this is the practical voltage source and we can actually convert this practical voltage source and we can actually convert this voltage source in terms of practical current source so right here we are going to have this is and you can observe here this current is actually towards this upward that happens because it is actually moving from this negative polarity towards the positive polarity so this is from negative polarity to so its direction is from negative polarity to positive polarity and now here this resistance will be is actually series with this voltage source but when it is comes to the practical current source this resistance or internal resistance rs is connected in form of parallel with this current source that is going to be equals to this r subscript s so this is the practical current source and this is converted connected to any network which is containing many number of passive elements which can be interconnected in form of series or parallel but here for now let us take certain network this can be same network as this thing or it can be same load resistance as this thing which is the example of this network so let this be network and this network can be actually the load resistance let's assume we have this network and this can also be 
that this bit terminal is AB and this has this network can actually be the load resistance or anything any passive elements so this is how we can actually convert this practical voltage source to this current source and you can actually observe how this uh, direction of this current is flowing it is from this negative to positive polarity and not only that this series resistance is connected in form of the shunt towards this current IS and we can actually do that from this current source to voltage source and if you want to move from the voltage source to the current source you need to have convert this into this or you suppose you want to convert from this current source to voltage source you can actually move from this to this and you suppose we have certain dependent source let's assume we have this plus or minus vx and the internal resistance is again rs so this is the practical voltage source and this is connected to let us take a element that is rl now if you want to convert this into a practical voltage source until this terminal is practical voltage source and to convert this into practical current source you need to have this ix or dependent current source right here we are going to have the resistance internal resistance currently in parallel with this current source and we are going to have the same internal or this load resistance right here and from this current source to this terminal we say this as the practical current source so this is all about how to do a certain conversion from this voltage source to current source and the current source to the voltage source and finally this vx is going to be equals to ix multiplying with this rs and this ix is going to be equals to vx by 